make our, make the Federal Republic of Nigeria not be like the Republic of Afghanistan. So may God help us. You. There is injustice in this country, and where you find injustice, uh, which is one of um, uh, justice or injustice, one of the big layers of, of um, a nation, national building. And if that if that is the case, how do we expect to have peace and have things okay? Things are not okay. And if you don't address this issue, we'll keep coming back and coming back and coming back to it. So these things have to be addressed. People go to the newspaper to see what is going there, going on there. At times you see things that are going on there, when you go through it, it becomes a boring to your life, to you as a person, as an individual. You see, for any government of the state that came out that, that everybody should arm themselves, they know what they are talking about because they put all their effort on the government. The government have tried its own best, but they find out that the thing is not working out and the people are dying every day like cockroach. If not because of God loves this nation, as I'm telling you the fact, if you want to get water from the ground, if, if, if not because of the love of God, if you see blood coming out from the ground, because of a lot of soul have gone deep, people have been killed every day like men. Daily killing, look at what happened in Katsina yesterday. Look at what happened in Katsina last week. Look at what happened in Niger two weeks ago. So it's only, it's only make Almighty God take over the country of the security in our country now. The thing is, it, actually our security personnel, they are trying their best, but they need to put more effort. How can a bandit be controlling the, 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 the common civilian? They will kidnap today. Somebody they have not worked for 5 million, 5 million, 10 million in a year. They will kidnap, the bandit will kidnap person will be asking for 10 million, 5 million. Somebody that is on 100,000 naira salary monthly. Eh, they will kidnap him, they will be asking him to bring the 10 million, 20 million naira. We are, we'll be able to get the 20 million for the, to pay to the bandits, to pay for the ransom. Nigerian is facing a state of, um, we like say anarchy. We like say a government that is not sensitive to the plight of Nigeria. Insecurity is not a spirit. It is something that we all know of. We know that we have armed forces. We have the police, we have civil defense, we have DSS, we have all the security networks in Nigeria. But yet, there is this kidnapping, there is this killing, there is this thing taking place. It means somebody is not doing his work well. It's that the government is not working or they are being compromised. How can a state like Zamfara be overrun by Boko Haram? How can Tassina, Kaduna, Joss, Makodi? No, no, this is telling us something. That we have a government that is not in charge. That's all I can say about it. Every country, right now, the major problem is insecurity and... But for me, my advice to Nigerians is, is I think they should like work more on the security aspect, like provide more to the security people, the police, and every security organization should be well equipped. People are people are hungry. Things are not okay, honestly speaking. Something you were thinking you buy for 100 naira, now you are buying it for 500 naira. It's terrible. And one of the promises Buhari told us is one of the things he told us is coming to do is to help the economy. But the economy is worse, things are bad. So the people in government should sit down and do what is needful. Help help those that help themselves. If you cannot help yourself, Nigeria is not there to help you economic wise because there's no access to funds. You're looking for a loan, you cannot get it. The bank is telling you high rate interest, collateral that you don't have. There are so many reasons why you will say the economy is not helping the ordinary average citizen. It's only if you are up there, you are up there. If you are not there, you are not there. That's what it is. Business is suffering. Just look around. People with ideas, but the economy is not open enough for people to enjoy, to exhibit what they have in them. The vice president is trying for us He's opening up the ICT industry, but yet, there's so much to be done.